All right, ladies and gentlemen, tiebreaker game. This is round four of day three of the second group stage for the Enterprise G tournament. Let that settle in your minds for a second as we bring you um, FFP versus Bow 2. So FFP on Northern Waters is bringing with them a gearing unique upgrade, a Marceau, a Daring, a Petropavlovsk with Reload, Unique upgrade, Des Moines. Napoli, that's typical secondaries build. A Moscow with unique upgrade. We've got a Vermont. And finally, a Wisconsin. What we got to the uh, south? Wing? For bow two, we've got a Gearing unique mod. A full torpedo, it looked like. Typical Napoli build. A Petro running pew pew. A unique Des Moines. And American Sniper, Vermont. Those four ships are going to Apples. Mm -hmm. Going to Chocolate looks like a Gdansk. The second Napoli with the Kremlin. The Petro is probably going to the uh, B Island. Maybe. Well, no, he's making a full turn. Like, screw you, streamer. Yeah, uh, that is a he unique was... uh, upgrade Petro. I think he was going there initially and then was waved off by whatever, whoever's calling, which makes sense. So this is, we've caught Tisun on the first day, and we're continuing to see them play. What's interesting is that they seem to be almost always playing together. Rarely do we see them um, being split up on opposite ends of the map. Not a bad idea, I would say. Uh, realistically, I, I would have done the same thing. Even if you picked up, like, whatever team you picked up, you should just keep because they played together a while. Mm -hmm. And it also limits your newer players like, you know, Tash and Bow 2. You know, they're, they're, they're it seems like Bow 2 is keeping the, the teams they picked up to, together together. Yeah. Which I think is a brilliant move because, you know, they work well. They, well, they worked mm -hmm. together before, so it's, you know, like less people to retrain. Right. Right, and that, I mean, you have to remember everybody that this tournament, you've got teams of three, and three of those teams forming a team of nine. Team cohesion is really important, as Admiral Ernst makes Inky early. I don't know why he's doing that, other than maybe to, to ensure the Petro doesn't get detected. Well, we have a Death Snail that started at Apples for the green team. Right, and we're going to see the red team Death Snail start soon as uh, the Gearing and Des Moines get ready to go, too. I drove pop out at Des Moines. It's going to be a matter of when he pops that radar, and I suspect he's waiting for the cap to start turning, or he sees a smoke screen. Yep. His green team's got two caps, the red team's no. Well, and it's interesting, too. The Gdansk now opening up all the way out on the 9 line. King Cool Cat is in trouble already. And Gdansk doesn't have a heal. I'm surprised he's not smoking up earlier. That's going to allow him to get shot at again. But more importantly, since he's stopping, that's going to allow the Marceau to just guesstimate where he is in the smoke. Oh, and here comes a Wisconsin shell. Nope, just barely missing. Well, they catch the gearing at Apples out from D-Square's radar. Of course, he was the one who popped first, which means uh, F FP there, uh, Des Moines will have his radar available uh, to potentially get this gearing mm -hmm. of, of Battleship Nagato. <laughs> Mama coming under some hits in the backfield, but that's not such a big deal for them. Bigger problem is these torpedoes Ooh. coming in on Desquarius's position, forcing More him out of the smoke screen. Uh, FFP's Des Moines is caught out in the open. Yeah. But look at is sneaking up. There goes the radar from FPP's, but he's not going to catch anybody because no. he was forced back. But look at this daring. Look at what he's doing for FP. He's moving down the middle, and he's trying to get in a position to completely surprise um, 
these guys here, the red team. But I, I, I don't know if Bautu is going to be. I don't think I don't think Bautu is going to fall for it necessarily. I mean, you've got these queries ready to go with this radar in. Well, he's got about 80 seconds, 60 seconds to go, about a minute and change. There's the petrol looking... radar. It catches the daring. Uh, so now they're aware of it. Mm-hmm. Interesting that they're not trying to put Battleship Megato in the apples to bait out the petrol radar. Just to start getting uh, at least some sort of pressure on this cap. Well, I think they're trying to get set up for the next smoke and then put them in the, into there. But the problem is that daring being there means that the gearing really doesn't have a lot of room to maneuver. All right, let's see. We got Petro versus Petro action. Chocolate got flipped over by the Gavance that somehow is still alive. Well, the Marceau wasn't willing to come back in and spot. I think part of that was the Petro and Kremlin being very aggressive. Look how far up the Kremlin is right now. Frieza's doing a nice job of just pushing and getting his, his presence known. Squarius broadside to Moskva at B. Bow 2 takes a torpedo. Uh, Petro and ap Apples. Well, that's kind of going to happen, right? He's going very aggressive to try to get to this island. For those of you that don't know this map this that well, this island is huge. A lot of teams will fight over this uh, because if you control the island, you've got really good cover and you have the ability to impact whatever goes into A. Oftentimes, though, we see teams fight so hard over it that both teams just lose an awful lot of forces trying to get it. Well, Chakwama's Vermont coming under a lot of fire. He did eat yep. a torpedo. His DCP is running. He is yep. now dark. Yep. Meanwhile, torpedoes oh. on the Petro to the north. The Reserve 12 dodges them. He's got Hydro on, so he doesn't care. Oof. Still got touched. Oh, well, Chukwama are... does do some damage, yeah. They, they are trying to focus out that Petro. Here comes the second smoke screen for... Uh... The green team is mm -hmm. the daring has backed into the cap and is getting it. I wonder if these guys are giving them apples uh, per se, because it looks like, you know, everybody's in a kite position, unfortunately, but the Petro stuck at the island. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a live and die island. It very much is. See, the thing is, Good resets. The thing is that, I mean, it's going to be very hard to get the Petro out from this island. Um, but at the same time, you know, you almost want to try to bait the enemy into pushing into a kill zone. Um, that being said, it looks like they are rotating. Bautu now putting up another smoke snail heading towards the B cap. So what they're trying to do is I think they're trying to get Desquarius into a position where he can radar and execute the daring. And the daring doesn't have the ability to run. And Chukwama's coming up the other side, so the two of them together can pincer the daring. The the other thing with where they're going is you can start farming out the Moskva, who's also stuck at a live and die island almost. You went up to the north? Yes, they can yeah, also farm him north, out. That's true. North of Bacon. Now the smoke does tell the daring, hey, you know, watch out, right? And so the daring you can see backs up farther, but now Chukwama's in a position to shoot him. Let's get some hits. Not enough. The other thing is the Petro can reverse and start shooting. I'm surprised he hasn't yet. Hurts. I'm surprised he hasn't. He's too busy looking forward. I think that's a that's a bad decision, but it shows the it shows the level of coordination between the three Tsun members that they know, you know, we want to focus the daring, but the Bautu person is doing his own thing. And that that again comes to the the difficulty of Trying to coordinate things with three different teams, with three different behavioral mannerisms, instincts, whatever you want to call it. With all that being said, because of the reload for the Vermont, the Daring was easily able to cap because the only other thing that could have reset would have been the Petro. Yep. But, but Reserve 12 is Petro, going to go down. Yeah, he will go down.
question is, will Chuck actually get to the island to go dark? Because the daring is in smoke. Yep. And start preserving some of his HP. Million triple seven. In the in the Mosva to the north of BCAP has his radar on, but he can't shoot Battleship Nagato, and he's being detected and shot at by Desquarius. Now, uh, Nagato is going to try to get into the BCAP. It looks like the Gdansk Cool Cat is also rotated to the BCAP. Oh, Darren comes out and gets spotted. Nice hits there nice, from Chuklama. Nice hits from the Vermont. I'm waiting to see if the Daring has torpedoes ready or not. Because if he has them, he should be using the single fire. Because, I mean, it's a Vermont, right? you got a really good chance of hitting your torps. Looks like he doesn't because he's just opening up with his guns while he knows he's running to safety. Which is probably a smart play for him. Oh, with Second this fire. Hydro down, he now spots these torpedoes that are coming in that could potentially hit the Des Moines if Des Moines not able to s slow down enough. Moskva extremely low, forced the reverse into a very peculiar situation with the bunch of ships coming up behind him. Altus Kremlin just crawling up his stern. You got it. All right, Desquarius has moved up, starts farming out the Moskva. Yep, and he doesn't even care if he's spotted or not, because really, what's going to hit him? Besides the Moskva, you know? Well, Hydro from the Petro sees these torpedoes from Gearing, possibly? Yeah, those would be Gearing's torpedoes. That's what I mean with, like, the, the daring. Like, why not stay south and just single-fire torp into the Vermont? Like, great opportunity to do so. Well, I mean, the thing is, Vermont and Petro are both dead. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for them to get out of this situation uh but look at the forces that are being used to, to kill these two ships well that's the whole right. idea with this island is you force the enemy to either ignore your existence in which case you come back out from behind and start shooting or they have to take you down and if you can pull a significant force to take you down that takes the rest of that force off of the map so very good play by bow Moskva above Bacon is, well, he's, it's just a matter of time, and the time will be soon, because DM says, I reload. Yeah, well, and then you've also got the Napoli coming up behind him, Admiral Ernst, so, uh, yeah, but the Moskva is, is dead, it's just a matter of who's going to get the kill. Um, meanwhile, the Wisconsin has been pushed all the way to the A line, and is quite low. Kremlin will probably kill him in one or two salvos from here. And that leaves Petro just radar the, catches everybody at apples. That leaves just the two people left over on the, the ten line. Although Lynx Napoli is extremely low and will probably die pretty soon as soon as it gets detected. It's a very important time extension needed for FFP. All right, now timing is important here. If I am on unables Petro. I'm watching the Des Moines carefully and waiting for the Des Moines to overcommit. As soon as he overcommits, I'm going full speed to ram the Kremlin. Well, there and the Des Moines the on the ton has line. A, well, Des Moines died, so there you go. Okay, if I'm that Petro, I'm going for it, but he's not, and he's actually sitting still, waiting for the Kremlin to get another shot on him. He got some good broadside citadels into the Kremlin, but it's not enough. Gonson goes down to the other side. There goes the Petro. Really surprised Kremlin. to see him not go for the, the ram there. Mm, maybe it'll be like the butter calls way because you'll be brought. He, would, he should have been brought aside to the Vermont if he had his guns ready. Yeah. Before well, securing the Verm user's torps that, you know, against him potentially. Mm -hmm. But well, the either Vermont's way, it's not going to last. Or, I mean, Kremlin's not going to last. No, and Chukwama can now just sail right to Desquarius. I wouldn't even continue going north if I'm Chukwama. I would just go straight to Desquarius. Because the last thing you want to deal with is the possibility of destroyer torpedoes. Turning north, he's heading right to the Daring. Yeah, say that, and he's going to avoid all those torps, but the Gearing is going to come out and get quickly spotted. There is the Gearing spotted. Yeah. All right, so if I'm if I'm 
Kikwama. Okay, well, that makes it easier. Now the Kremlin's dead, I can just turn and yeet. <laughs> yeet us, delete us right there. That's a great clip moment. So I'm going to take a second and clip that, please. That was wow. Well, we're losing chocolate to the green team, but Chuck is easily dodging all these daring uh, torps because Vermont, while it may not go forward quickly, it does turn very, very well. Yep. All right. Well, there goes the Marceau for FFP, and that will pretty much seal the deal. Game three goes to bow two. Here we have it. Yes. At least I got my death pick. Oh no, the horror is going to be my first comment. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Bow to wins. This was FFP. Was this the first game? This was the third. Uh, uh, tell I'm paying attention, guys.